Okay, so I've done 17, not including the chain. And what you're going to do at that point is, because um, we're going to make the ear flap 8 stitches wide, so you're just going to chain 2, and then you're going to turn. Um, and I will recommend you probably, good thing this is really floppy, so you, because <laughs> you're going to have to bend it around and stuff, so it's no big deal, but you have to do it. All right, so you can see I did a two turning chain, and now I'm going to work um, eight half double crochets, starting right here. So basically at the base of the chain. Okay, once you've done eight half double crochets, um, then that sort of creates the base of your ear flap. See, like that. And don't worry about the fact that this sort of like has a sharper edge, because when you go back down, we're going to smooth that out. Um, now, so from this, so from this point on, we're just going to be sort of decreasing in order to make it, um, you know, sort of rounded. Okay, so you're gonna, again going to chain two, and then turn. Okay, so now we're going to do um, a half double crochet decrease. For this pattern, I'm going to have you go ahead and just do a traditional uh, decrease. I have a tutorial up where I show two different ways to do it, but for this um, particular pattern and yarn, we're going to do it the way that you know everybody else says that you should, and not just the weird way that I like to do it otherwise. But anyway, so you're going to yarn over, you're going to insert your hook right there in the base of, basically at the stitch in the base of the chain. See? Yarn over, pull through. Okay, so you've got three loops on your um, hook. You're going to yarn over, and you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Right, and so you have five loops. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all five. And this you probably will have to just make sure that it's going through all of them. Okay. And then that's your decrease. And then you're going to do four half double crochets. And then you should be left with see, two stitches there. So there's this one and this one. Um, so all you're going to do, you're going to do another half double crochet decrease. So you yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert hook. Yarn over, pull through. And you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops very carefully. Okay, and you can see that it decreased. See, you can sort of see that it goes up. Okay, and now you're going to go ahead and chain two. You're going to turn. And then we're going to do another decrease. Okay. So we're going to start here. So you yarn over, insert hook there, 
the basically at the stitch at the base of the chain, the first stitch. Yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, you get five loops. It's sort of hard to see there's five there, but there are. Remember that I'm using two different strands, so there are actually technically ten on there, but we're counting that all as one. Okay. And then we'll do two half double crochets. Right, and then we're going to do another half double crochet decrease. So yarn over, insert hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, insert hook. And for me, this is um, sort of a fight to get it in there, but it'll work. You do have to be careful because when you're working with this number of stitches and double strands of yarn, it can get a little wonky, I guess. All right, then you're going to yarn over. I'm sorry, you're going to chain two. And then turn. And now um, we're basically going to do two half double crochet decreases. And so you can see there's the flap. All right, so yarn over, insert hook. And then do it again. And again, this one, this last one here is a fight on the, to get it on the hook, but. Okay. And now technically, if you wanted to, you could, um, chain two and then do like turn and then do another half double crochet uh, decrease because technically there are two you know one here and one here so you could do that and it would be more of a point but um, for this particular hat I'm not doing that now what I am going to do is I'm going to be slip stitching all the way back down to here so to do that I'm just going to go ahead and make one slip stitch okay Okay, so it's not really precise, but you sort of just have to do what you got to do. Um, so I like to make them as even as I can. So I know that each slip stitch is about that long. So I just try to make it um, consistent that way. So you'll just insert your hook where you can. And if you notice, like there will be some places that you just won't be able to put it in there. And it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. But remember, if you can get it perfect, then do so. <laughs> Alright, but remember a slip stitch, you just um, insert hook, yarn over, and then you pull through the hoop that was on your uh, hook. Okay, and you're just going to continue... All the, way around, all the way down, but just remember to um, don't just go into like one, see how I went like that. You don't want to do that, otherwise you're going to have a weird gap there, and you don't want to do that. So, so if you're going to do that, you make sure you put it under both, and you will probably have to sort of just work it to where you can. I know that's not very precise, but it's just how it goes. All 
Okay, now when you get towards the base of the, um, flap, the ear flap, you're going to slip stitch into the same stitch that this uh, that the base is actually in so that way you know you're just sort of making on an additional there but I'm gonna do one more because that would make that one way too long and then we do this one okay. and let me show you my slip stitches they are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination but you can see so they're just like all the way down there and then there's your finished ear flap. Let me turn it over so you can see what it looks like on the actual hat. Okay, now I know it looks a little small, um, but we are putting decorative edging around. Well, you know, there's another row that's gonna be put around, so. Um, or well, the row of black, I mean. So it'll add a little bit to the bulkiness of it. If you want to, you can make them bigger. It's all what you like. Okay, so now that we're back down to where we were, you're going to um, do a half double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and see, and that's sort of what it looks like there. And then you're just going to go on and continue um, and do 38 more half double crochets, so 39 including this one that I just did. And I will come back when I am done and ready to do the next ear flap.